Lisa Irvine. She is not only one of our product specialists, but she's a very busy mom. You got a lot of things on your plate every single day, don't Indeed. you? Now you're going to be in the program twice. Yes. We're going to talk about something that nobody likes to do, and that's mopping floors. I just showed you a wheelbarrow that changed everything we knew about wheelbarrows. And I think most people who saw the presentation agreed a wheelbarrow with one wheel does not make sense anymore. The chances are the mop that you've got in your kitchen to clean all those hard surfaces in your home is as outdated if it's an old string mop or a, a sponge mop, which by the way was never designed to clean floors. It was designed in Scandinavian countries to spread wax. Indeed. This is a different way to clean. It is. I love microfiber because it's so effective in cleaning with just water if you choose. You don't have to use chemicals. No chemicals at all. But it's so absorbent that it'll actually absorb eight times its weight in liquid. So you really can pick up big sloppy messes with this and with with the new technology we have with our spin yep. bucket today, you're going to see how it's a washer and a dryer in one small footprint so it doesn't take up much room but it gives you a really nice clean mop every time. Alright, if we go back to like World War II when they used uh, cotton mops and they would swab decks, the second time that you put a mop into a bucket, you're going to spread dirty water around. This is a different bucket. It has a mechanism in it, and you'll see just by pushing down on the handle of the mop that it spins the mop. But we can spin it fast. Right. So you can spin it fast or slow. This is your washer. This is the washer portion. Now, the way this works is there's actually three settings on this bucket. So two means it's all the way down in washing mode, just like your washing machine. Here's your washer. And then one is it's not doing anything yet. It's in between cycles. Yep. And then zero is where your dryer is. So you saw me washing it. It locks into place in zero and then you're going to dry it. So you spin it. And you're now forcing all the dirty water out of the mop so that it's just barely damp. Right, and down into the bottom of the bucket. Now, what, now by the way, what did you do to this floor? All right, so this is Ooh. all kinds of, this is paint and jelly and all kinds of mixtures of things that happen around my house. With four kids, you can imagine the mess along with the dog. Okay. What I love about microfiber is that no matter what the sticky, gooey, wet, sloppy mess is, this scrubs and picks up that mess all over my hard floor surfaces. And then, because I'm using the, with the 360 spin mop, it allows me to clean it all with one tool, so I'm not dragging this sloppy, and by dirty the way, mess somewhere this else. This is not sticky. There's no residue on this. Read the back of the chemical bottles that we buy at the grocery stores for floor cleaners. And there's yellow liquids and blue liquids and green and pine trees and oranges. And mm -hmm. almost all of them say rinse your floor afterwards and you don't. Now, that mop is filthy. Yes, it's all full of black and green and all kinds so of nasty things. So with a regular things. bucket, you dip it back in there and, just, and you would spread dirt from point A to point B. Right, so if you're going to wash, you go to washer mode, so you're going to lock this on two. This okay. takes it all the way down into the washing machine. It's cleaning it. It's, it's agitating just like your washer does. So then when you've done that, you lift up your mop a little bit, Give you a little lock twist. it into zero, and then you spin it clean. And, and then it becomes the yes. dryer. Yep, it has to stay in zero though. Yep. There you go. So this is how now it works. I'll show you what's going on It's on the really inside. neat to see it this way because you can see what's going on. So there we are in the lockdown mode. And that lockdown mode allows it to agitate and get clean. It also allows all that dirt, as you mentioned, to drop to the bottom of the bucket. Then you go into the first uh, to zero, which yep. locks it in like it's a dryer, and it gives oh, you that dryer you mode. You know what? I always do this, and that's completely my fault. We do have four colors. These mm -hmm. are brand new. There's two different mop heads. You saw the white mop head, which is what you use for your cleaning. The yellow one has these long, elongated little fingers. Thick fingers for and dusting. that's for dusting. Mm -hmm. But we've got fuchsia, we've got a purple, we have an orange and a teal. Just because, you know what? Nobody's hobby is mopping. At least you have a little color in it, right? Right. Well, it's fun to have a choice. But I also love the fact that you can choose the, the moisture that's in your mop. So here's my hardwood floors, and I had, you know, some di dry dust on there. Or maybe it then something happens and it's kind of wet and icky. You can use the same mop. And here's something that's really good. This is milk that got spilled. Okay. So what's so nice is this can go from dry dusting to moist dusting. And you use your, your washing machine virtually, your washing machine bucket, right. to clean it again so that everything is nice and clean. And you've always got a clean bucket. And, and you have to mop. I mean, right. there's no getting around it. There's a lot of these things that you see at the grocery store that are little broomsticks that spritz moisture on the floor and then disposable pads where you've got to buy them over and over and over again. Right. And they're still leaving residue mm -hmm. on your floor. Uh, for us, it's pets. For a lot of you, it's children. Oh, absolutely. You don't want those chemicals. 
well, mops you, on the floor. And you don't. And so this is a greater way to have a cleaner mop. And I'd love to show you the absorbency of the mop because I think that's important for you to know okay. just how thirsty the mop is. And also, how much dirty water came off of this mop you saw me using earlier. So you saw this one before, it was all black and blue. Right. Well, inside here, and I'm going to lock this down so you can see, inside here, this water is black. It's dirty, it's black. I don't know if the camera can see it oh, or they not. Oh, can see here. it, absolutely. But it's just coming out black. You see shot. that? And that is just, that's what came out of the mop as I was washing it. It also is extremely absorbent. So, if you pour in, I have two full glasses of juice here. Okay. And you take your mop head. In fact, I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit All right. better shape. If it's okay, I'm going to go yeah. ahead and put this up here so that we can see it. And if you put this down inside, you're going to see that a few little squishes, and this is going to actually absorb all of it without dripping. So you really have nice. an absorbent and effective mop to clean those surfaces around your home. Uh, it, it's a better mop. It's a better bucket. Now, by the way, these heads can be thrown in the washing machine. They do have a, a light plastic ring around them, so they will make some noise mm -hmm. in your washing machine when you go to clean them, but it won't hurt anything. And it's easy to take off. You saw me. I just stepped on it, okay. pulls it off, and then it just snaps right on. So super easy to interchange, super easy to wash. Just put it in your regular washing machine, no fabric softener, of course, and then once, and let it air dry. And, and by the way, let's add to that. The reason why you don't use fabric softener on microfiber, you don't need it. Uh, fabric softener actually clogs the pores of right. a microfiber and makes it less absorbent. Right. So, and I think it's important. You want it to work effectively, so please don't use the fabric yep. softener. Now, this would be for dry dusting. These are really nice big fingers. Use this up to use clean bookcases and ceiling fans. Okay. They're thicker, more um, chubby fingers that grab the dust and dirt. But again, no matter what your hard surface is in, in your home, here we have crayon, we have finger paint, and we just had a spill with, with soda. This is such an effective way to be able to suddenly pick up, grab your mop, clean up the mess, and instantly your floors are shining and back to normal again. And you've got a, a cleaner home. And by the way, I saw you dirtying up that floor underneath those hot lights. That was baked on there pretty good. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. Diana. Thank you. Uh, she is also.